close your eyes, watch your breath. Watch it all the way in, all the way out. Show some goodwill for yourself. Lift your mind to a, a good topic like this and keep it there. All too often we allow our minds to run, wander around wherever they like, and sometimes they can get into trouble. So lift them up to something that's really good. We come here because we believe in the power of goodness. We believe in the power of generosity and virtue. Good qualities of the mind. We want to make sure that those qualities stay constant. Like right now when you're trying to focus on the breath, try st staying with it constantly. That means you have to have goodwill for yourself, goodwill for all beings all the time. Our human goodwill is partial. It's easy to feel goodwill for some people and not easy for others. But we have to realize that if we want our goodness to be solid, in other words, that we act on good intentions all the time, even in difficult situations, that means we have to develop goodwill in all situations. Even where people have misbehaved, people have harmed us, people have harmed the people we love, we still have to have goodwill for them. Now that doesn't mean we would wish simply that they be happy whatever they're doing. It means ha having them think about, well, what are the causes for true happiness? Well, they come from each individual's actions. So if you have goodwill for someone, you're hoping that if they've been misbehaving, that they'll change their ways. See what really is a cause for true happiness and be willing and able to act on that knowledge. That's a thought you can have for anybody. But we often don't stop and think that that's what we can have for anybody. It's all too easy when someone has done things that we don't like that we go straight to ill will. Which is why the Buddha said that goodwill is a form of mindfulness. You have to keep it in mind. Keep reminding yourself all the time. Someone is really difficult, someone's really cruel and harsh. You just have to have goodwill for that person. And when you can think in those terms, then it's a lot easier for you to think about what would be the good thing to help in this situation. And if you can't think of anything to help, then you have to have equanimity. But if you can think of something to help, go ahead and help. Because we all need help in learning how to be good. As the Buddha said, that you don't simply want to be good in your own actions, but if there's some way that you can influence other people to be good in theirs, you're happy to do it. That way your goodwill gets solidly established. And you can extend it to anybody. And you can show it in your thoughts and your words and your deeds. And that way your goodness gets strengthened. When your goodness gets strengthened, then you can dedicate to others again. Showing that you're not selfish about your goodness, that you want, you're be happy to share. In this way, the goodness gets multiplied. That's the good thing about it. The happiness that comes from good qualities of mind. It doesn't create boundaries. The happiness of the world, where they look for happiness in terms of material things or status, that creates boundaries because when someone gains something, somebody else has to lose it. But the goodness that comes from virtue, generosity, thoughts of goodwill, that erases boundaries. We're all part of the same family. Wherever you go, you're at home. Whoever you're dealing with, you're dealing with friends, people that you wish well for. Now, they may be kind of stupid friends, short-sighted friends, but if you can have an attitude of friendliness toward them, that can make a difference. <laughs>